It is mystery box time. I am excited to get into it, although a little bit sad because this is my last box. This is the end of them. I went three for three and then I battled JD last week. JD and Nicole, I should say, and I lost and I didn't get a vintage pack. So I'm three for four, which is still, that's still really respectable considering it's one in five. I'm, I'm a little bit sad, but I'm a little bit excited. By the way, I'm the Millennial Collector. If you have not seen me before, I do Pokemon card openings, Hidden Fates, Mystery Boxes, Sword and Shield, a little bit of everything, uh, and a little bit, a little bit of vintage mixed in there when I can. So, oh yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think of my shirt? I know it's Saturday today, but Case of the Mondays. Do you guys ever have a Case of the Mondays? I love the shirt. It's just, makes me happy. It's a reference to Office Space for those that know. Anyways, yes, these mystery power boxes, vintage seated one and five, and I will say I am three for four. So pretty happy about that. Neo Discovery is the chase pack. Um, and then, I mean, you got Fire Red Leaf Green, Undaunted Platinum. I haven't seen anyone pull any of those, to be honest. Um, I've seen Stormfront. I've seen, yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, there's even Ultra Prism, which isn't vintage, of course, but you can get that in, which is pretty sweet. Um, I would love that Charizard coin. That would be kind of neat too. So let's get into it. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Um, the first four I bought was off of Walmart's website and I went through before there. That's pretty good. This one I happened to find Lone Box sitting in Walmart. So I was a little skeptical. We'll see how it is. It didn't look like it was searched because you, you can push push that and, and take a look at it, but Oh boy, I, I am excited to get into this. Um, let's see if I can pull out some of the other goodies first before I before I get to the packs. So we've got, all right, I think we've pulled this one before. This is, I got it wrong last time. We got Mudkip, we've got Treco, Trico, and then we've got Torchic. I think I did it right. I think I got it right. I think I said like, I don't remember what I said. I said something kind of wacky last time. All right, let's get the pin out just because we can get that out of the way. Hopefully it's one I haven't seen before or that I don't have. Ooh, I think I've got this one. This is Greninja. All right, Greninja, you can hang out over there. All right, let's start here. What do we got? We've got Cosmic Eclipse. And I don't mind this because this gives me a chance at that Charizard and Brakeson. Um, I did open up a bunch of these packs uh, in a pack battle. Um, what it was last month, actually, June? July, no, we're in July. It would have been May. Yes, that sounds right. May sounds right. And uh, I, no one pulled the Charizard and Breaks in, in it, and it was a big group of us from all over the world. Absol, that's pretty cool. Lilip, Rotom, Rock Ruff, Deerling, Teddy Ursa, Golet, Dewpider. We've got a Reverse Hollow, Duskull, and a Holographic. Okay, it's very faint holographic, but a Steelix, that's pretty cool. Pretty sure I need that one, so I'm gonna move those guys back there. We'll set those up right there. All right, so that was Cosmic Eclipse, first pack. So that means it was a white code card, so there I go. All right, we'll take it. Holographic pack number two. Sword and Shield, all right. The S word, sword. All right, let's see if we can go and get something, like a golden Zashin or something. That's pretty cool. See through it. It's white. That's why I tend to show my code cards after I, after I uh, do the pack, just because I don't want to ruin what we got here. All right, unlisted leaf energy. We've got a haunter, vitality band, raboot, rhyhorn, flabapus, goldine, roselia, ghastly. We've got a reverse hollow poniard and ooh, all right, yes, indeedy v full art. What a beautiful shine on that card. That's great, I do not have that one. So, we're going to sleeve it up and it's gonna go back onto the MVP wall. That is the most valuable Pokemon. Very creative, right? Very creative. All right, thank you. Oh, I almost fell down the, the pit of despair there and gone forever. Uh, was that uh, Fiery Dark Knight? I could be saying that wrong. I think he's the one that came up with that uh, that MVP name. So I like it. 
I like it a lot. We've got, ooh, Burning Shadows, okay. All right, Burning Shadows. That Hyper Rare, it, this is a, it is tough to pull a Hyper Rare in uh, the Hyper Rare Charizard in this pack. Um, I have not done it. I would love to do it now that I've got the uh, the other Charizard out of the way, but um, it's a pretty tough, wow, these cards are warped. I mean, I would take a warped Charizard. It's better than no Charizard, but bodybuilding, not even gonna try. Dusclops, Meryl, Caterpie. Cute, Duskull, Oddish. We've got a Reverse Hollow Charmeleon, that's pretty cool, and a Bruxish. Yeah, I've definitely pulled that one before. Well, that's too bad. All right, so we've got, what, two packs left? Yeah, I'm throwing two packs. I think there's supposed to be a code card and a promo card in here somewhere. We've got a, another Cosmic Eclipse, okay. I won't be too upset, especially if we pull that Charizard and breaks in. I mean, that would make this box definitely worthwhile. Will it be in there? No spoilers. I mean, we could like put intense music on and like we could pretend there's gonna be something good in it or we could just, you know, just get straight to it, rip that bandaid off and be like, cool, a nothing pack. But just makes those times you pull something that much more exciting. Mimikyu, that's pretty cool. Togodomaru, Trapinch, Flabebe, Tangela, Duskull. We've got a reverse hollow crab brawler and a Embor non-holographic. All right. Last pack magic. Let's hope for a vintage because again, I'm, I'm, I'm three for four, but I feel like I'm about to just go three for five, which is pretty sad. It means I opened up the right boxes first and we've got a, oh, okay. All right. Hey, you know what? I, I'm happy with that. I have got a, another, this is, this is technically a vintage pack. Very cool. And you know what? I don't think I can open this one. I, I've uh, pulled this twice in these mystery boxes. And, you know, I know there's some Charizards in there. And maybe one day I'll open it up. But I think I'm going to keep it sealed. There's, it, you know, it's like a $15 pack. So it's not too crazy expensive. But it's, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's nostalgia is what it is. There's not there's not money to be made. I guess if you pulled a, a Charizard or something like that, it could be worthwhile. But that's 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 pretty neat. Okay, we've still got our code card here. We've got Unified Minds. But you know what I'm gonna do? Just because just because you're looking so good today, I'm gonna open up a blister pack of Hidden Fates. And ooh, I've not actually seen this one before. This is a this is pretty neat. What set's that from? It's from 2014. Hmm. It's a Raichu holographic. That's pretty cool, actually. I, yeah, I definitely have not seen anyone pull those before. So I do wonder if there's been like a second batch of these boxes that have gone out that have been like less good as the first one, just to get you like hooked on it. So we're going to reach in here. I'll show you my, my plastic bag from Walmart full of blister packs. And we're going to pull out a, I only filled with Hidden Fates. I'm really, I'm really happy we pulled some Hidden Fates out of it, so. <laughs> but I will say these have been very kind to me. I have pulled a Charizard from them. I have pulled a, what else have I pulled? I pulled a Cynthia. I have pulled a Mewtwo. I've pulled, I've done pretty well. So um, definitely go check out some of those videos because they were great. So, all right, let's finish with the birds. Let's finish with the birds. That's still pretty cool, hey, you know? What do you, th I'm not going to cover you up, Indeedee. We'll just, we'll just. Ash and Pikachu can hang out back there and they can watch us pull another Charizard, right? Right, Ash? Ash, catch him. Gotta catch him. Oh. <laughs> Super clever, guys. Super clever. Go, marketing team. All right. Let's see if we can at least pull a, um, what's it? A shiny vault. That would be cool. I'd love a full art. I am hunting for Shrine of Punishment. That's kind of the next one on the list. I mean, and ho -Oh. Those would be like the two next that I'd like to knock off the list. Pikachu, hi Pikachu. And we've got a Reverse Hollow, Psychic Energy, and an Onyx GX. All right, all right. Well, we're pulling, we're pulling some. Uh, you're gonna probably be covered up, Onyx. I apologize for that, but um, yeah, we've been pulling some pretty decent stuff. So, you know, Hidden Fates. I think everybody still loves Hidden Fates. I mean, I, I still really, obviously, enjoy the set. Um, but we are getting close to Darkness Ablaze, and that's the next Charizard that's going to be coming out. I'm pretty excited about that. 
All right, let's see if we can finish with a shiny vault here. Scyther, Metamod, Magmar. If I don't pull a shiny in this pack, in this pack here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull one more. I just I got so many of them left. I, we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll find out in a moment. And we've got a Reverse Hollow Jolteon, so we did not pull a shiny and a <laughs> Starmie GX. So we are pulling we are pulling all the GXs. So I'm gonna reach down for one more here, just because. Just because. Just because I would like to pull a shiny vault card. If I don't pull one after this, we'll see if I if I reach into the bag again. I've got again, I've got a lot of you know hidden baits. Um, it is becoming a little bit more valuable. Wow, I'm, it's not meant to be here. There we go. It's gonna say. Doesn't want want to be opened. Maybe dropping those packs, that's not good. Alright, that's for my Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon. Okay. Two birds, okay. Well, that can only mean a good thing, right? Uh, who loves Hidden Fates? Actually, I'd like to know, because I can assume pretty much everyone loves Hidden Fates. Who doesn't like Hidden Fates? That's what I want to know. Who's kind of sick of it? Like, it's been it's been around for, you know, a minute and a half. Like, it's been, it's been here. And, you know, not everybody likes it because it's just so addicting. I mean, that's the only reason I don't like it. It's just that I'm, I'm just absolutely addicted and want to pull something good. So we've got a Blaine's Last Stand and a Star... Okay, so we're just slowly filling up with all these ultra rares that are worth about two bucks each. Maybe 250 if you're lucky. I don't know who's buying them though. Like, I guess, I guess there's maybe some people that are buying them. Um, all right, come on. Can we, can we at least get one shiny? Because, like, these are aftermarket third-party packaging, and I'm often super skeptical of them, but there have been good pulls in them. They're, they're like, really, really has. Like, obviously, I've pulled all those great cards I mentioned earlier. So, there's... They've got to be something in them. Maybe this one? Maybe? It's, like, literally a Jolteon. Isn't that what I pulled? Oh, that's what I pulled the last one. All right. This is my last one. It's just, you know, cha-ching every time, every time I reach for more. But luckily, I've pulled the Charizard, so I don't feel as anxious to like have to go and buy more. What is that? That's a Beware GX box. Cool, which I just opened yesterday. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, this is what I pulled the Charizard in. I pulled the Charizard in the Mewtwo. Kept the pack because, I mean, why not? Just, just in case. We gotta at least pull one. You figure between these six packs, there's gotta be one shiny vault in it, right? Right? Maybe? If you haven't checked me out, check out my Instagram, millennial.collector. I give away code cards if you send me a message and follow me. If you want to. If you're into that kind of thing. But you get to see a sneak peek of what's coming. So, Jigglypuff, we've got an Ekans. We've got, all right, all right. We've got a Garchomp. We finally got a Shiny Vault. I've pulled this a couple times now. It's not bad. I think it's like five bucks. It's still, it's still a fairly good... Wow, we are just on the ultra rare train today that's our fourth ultra rare from how many packs have i opened i've only missed it on the, on one wow out of the five packs i've opened they've been all ultra rares see like i can't be too mad about it but like oh i guess i'll i'll throw it in a, one of these sleeves very cool we'll put that back there we're that the mvp section is growing less and less most valuable it's more like a everything valuable i mean those gx's those those ultra rares are really not like super super valuable to be honest with you i love a full art though do you think we could finish with a full art let's let's finish with some fire let's see maybe it's a fire energy i don't guess the energy very often but it's fairy so rest in peace rest in peace fairy energy koga's trap i'm feeling not so bright some or sharp or yeah, Mr. Mind, that's kind of what I thought. Eric's hospitality. All right, we're going to end it there. I'm glad I at least pulled a shiny. Had to rip that Band-Aid off. So thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Have an amazing day.